When you visit Hamburg, you can't miss this building behind me. It is the cultural landmark of the port city. Hamburg's most famous concert hall, the Elbphilharmonie. What makes it so special? That's what I want to find out. So, I'm meeting with Marlene today. She works here and she wants to reveal some secrets about this magical place. The Elbphilharmonie, nicknamed Elfi, is known for its exceptional glass construction, resembling a hoisted sail. It blends in perfectly with the port city. Elfi's base here used to be a warehouse, right? That's right. In the 60s, it was a warehouse for general goods such as tea and cacao until the end of the last century. And today, it is the fundament of the Elbphilharmonie. Now it's carrying this enormous crystal or wave on top of it. Who was behind this design? The architectural design is by Herzog and Demorand, two architects from Switzerland, and they're famous around the world for their designs. For the characteristic glass facade, over 1,100 glass elements were used, all individually curved and marked. Let's check out the inside. The new building is reached via the world's first arched escalator, according to the Finnish manufacturer. But there are other special features that don't stand out right away. So we're in the foyer now to check out the first secret. These lamps above us are really unique. Can you tell us why? They are all individual and mouth blown by a small company from the Elbe Sandstone Mountains. And they tie into the whole concept of the Elbe Philharmonie because they resemble water drops. Speaking of water, may I use the bathroom? Of course. Let me show you the prettiest. We went all the way up to the 15th floor. And wow, this is the coolest bathroom I have ever seen. This is insane. My bathroom standards will never be the same. I know, right? One of the greatest views in the whole entire Elbphilharmonie. This is the only toilet with that kind of panorama window. After that first class party break, it's time to check out the centerpiece of the Elbphilharmonie, the Grand Hall. It's 25 meters high and seats 2,100 people. The orchestra sits in the center with the seats rising up in steep tiers around it. This auditorium is full of secrets. I can just feel it. That's right. For example, these chairs are called Hamburg because they are specially made for the Elbphilharmonie. When the hall is full, the audience absorbs a lot of sound. And when it is empty, the chairs, because of the cushion and the material. So it makes no difference in the acoustic whether there are people seated or not. Yeah, that's right. Wow. But it must make a difference in the air because I don't see any windows here. The ventilation of the Grand Hall is hidden under each individual seat. And it is very important that the air parameters stay the same every day to protect the singers' voices or the sometimes very expensive instruments. The ventilation tubes are all in the walls, like miles over miles. Speaking of the walls, I've never seen anything like them. It looks like skin. Yeah, it's actually called white skin. For that, the Elbphilharmonie collaborated with the acoustician Yasuhisa Toyota, and he designed the wall and the ceiling specially for the Elbphilharmonie. The white skin is made out of 10,000 gypsum fiber panels that reflect but also disperse the sound. It must be a really special experience to attend a concert in here. Do you know what the price range is usually? It really depends on the concert, but it usually starts at 10 to 15 euros and goes up to maybe 70. And the good thing is everyone can enjoy the Elbphilharmonie without even spending a single cent. This is the public plaza. We are now 37 meters above the ground and the plaza divides the two bodies of the Elbphilharmonie. And I don't need a concert ticket to be in here? No. Awesome, let's go around. The plaza offers a 360 degree view of Hamburg. It's a perfect spot to appreciate the contrast between the docks and the city, while enjoying a free visit to one of the world's most iconic concert halls. 